Good morning guys, it's the 6th of December today and it's one heck of a gloomy day. We've had a moderate amount of we've had a moderate amount of rain this morning, and it's very cloudy. I'm waiting for the blue skies to come back out. I'm hoping that today I'll be able to go out and take some snail photos for a project I'm working on. But right now the sky is still threatening more rain. I obviously don't want to get drenched, so I'm holding out for those lovely blue skies. In the meantime, I'm gonna make myself some breakfast, and at some point today. I want to make a start on Osmium's winter themed cage. It seems that the rain has at last cleared up, so I'm gonna head on out with my camera and see if I can't find some snails. Not gonna lie, it's bloody cold today. Oh, there's a nasty nip in the air. Oh, so far, no snails. We're gonna keep on going though. Maybe we can find other things to photograph. Ooh. I've just found a great big tumbleweed in the field. If you've never seen a tumbleweed before, this is basically what it is. It's just a great big plant that dries up. And you can see here, this is the bottom of the plant. It kind of just breaks away from the ground and then it rolls off. And as it rolls away, it drops all its little seeds all over the place. So it's basically how it reproduces. And there's so many of these plants in Cyprus. They're absolutely everywhere. There's another little one over there as well. And I think that one is still attached to the ground. I don't think it's broken away yet. You know what? I think I've just found all of our tumbleweeds. This is just a great big pile of, of different tumbleweeds. That's really kind of weird. Well, it's not a snail, but that is one heck of a spider. Hi. It's just starting to rain again, so I'm sheltering under a slide in a kiddie park, which I'll admit, a little bit dodgy when you've got a camera with you. So far, no snails. However, with the extra rainfall, maybe I will find them. At the very least, I've managed to find plenty of cats. Seriously, so many feral cats. Before I move away from the shelter of the slide, I think I'm going to try and snap some shots of the little birdies flittering around. They haven't seen me yet, so I might be able to get some nice photos. Well, that weather got really nasty really quickly, so I decided I had to come back home. Uh, to be honest, I think once the rain stopped, I think it's going to be too dark to go and find snails. So, unfortunately, it looks like I won't be getting that photo today. Never mind that, another day. I'm gonna go sit down for five minutes, rest, warm up, and I guess then I'll make a start on Osmium's cage. The first thing I need to do before I can start anything with Osmium's cage is to shred the white tissue that's gonna be on top as the decorative substrate. Now normally, what I do, and it takes a bloody long time, is I take my roll of kitchen tissue and I break off one piece at a time, and I run it through the shredder, one piece at a time, and it takes at least an hour. It's very tiring, it's very soul-crushing. However, 
I had an idea the other day, I'm gonna try it out. I don't know if it'll work, it could go all horribly wrong. I've got this kind of curtain pole device that I've made. It's just one stand and two stand with, you can see, a little hole drilled on the top there and a large dowel which threads through the holes like that. And normally when I'm filming indoors at night and I need some lighting, what I do is I put this up with a net curtain on it, I put my lighting behind it, it helps to diffuse the light, gives me a much more natural look when I'm filming. Instead of putting a curtain on it though, my idea is to put the roll of tissue on it and thread it into the shredder, which is, no, oh, <laughs> in two pieces down on the floor, and see if it will just shred the roll and keep the roll spinning as it shreds so I don't have to sit there doing it one piece at a time. If this does work, the one thing I have to be careful of is making sure I give the machine regular breaks, otherwise I'm gonna end up burning out the motor on my shredder. Everything is in place as I described it. The tissue is currently in the machine, which is turned on. However, because the tissue is really thin, the machine can't register it to start shredding. So what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna put a regular piece of paper in with the first piece of tissue just to get the machine started. Hopefully that will be enough so it can understand that there is something in it and it does need to start working. Got my paper, let's give this a go. Come on, the hours that would be saved if this works. <gasps> it's working. I've turned it off for a minute to give it a break so the engine doesn't bust, and let's have a look. <gasps> it's worked. They're all shredded. It's just in one really big line, but that's fine. We can work with that. That's cool. <gasps> oh, this is going to save me so much time. I am unbelievably happy about this. No one should get this happy over shredded tissue. I just realized I probably don't even need to put that piece of paper in to get it started. If I just fold the tissue over, a few times to thicken it up. That should be enough. I think I've shredded enough tissue now, so I'm gonna get started on setting up the cage. Now, I'm not gonna be able to do the whole thing today just because there are a few things I want to make for it so uh, this this isn't going to be all that's going on in the cage. I don't know exactly when I'll be posting the official cage tour for this design, it might not be until January um, so you know if it, if it doesn't get posted in the next couple of weeks don't panic, I haven't forgotten, it's not something that you know I, I'm not doing, it's definitely going to happen but with everything going on at the minute I just don't know when I'm going to find the time to film and edit a cage tour. I'm gonna start by taking out some of our current supplies. Oh, this is this is fantastic. Best tube my hamsters have ever had. It's from the inside of a, a wrapping paper, a roll of wrapping paper. It's just plain cardboard tube. It's awesome. I won't be changing out her aspen this time. I'll just be putting the shredded paper on top of it simply because the aspen is still pretty clean. She's only tiny, she doesn't make a lot of mess. I will give the aspen a little bit of a turn just to help air it out, of course, but it really doesn't need to be completely changed. Oh, that house was full of poo. <laughs> oh, oopsie. Sulfur? You having a run in your wheel? That's a good boy. I need to get my little broom to clean the shelf. Here we go. It's all just seed husks up on the shelf, so it doesn't really matter that I'm just sweeping them down to the substrate. Give it a little wash though, because there are some pea paw prints up here. Let's give this a turn. Oh, sorry, Ozzy. I'm gonna have to disturb her big nest though. 
Oh, there's a little, there's a little burrow. I have to show you guys this, it's so cute. You see the little hole that goes into her burrow? That's so cute. Oh, don't go back inside there. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. Let's see. Let's see how much of a mess you've got in here. Oh, I know. I know. I'm destroying your nest. I'm a bad person. It's okay, you can build another one. Let's see how much you're hoarding in here. Oh. My goodness. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, wow. Wow! <laughs> I mean, I knew you'd have a big hoard. Okay, we're gonna have to clean that out. <laughs> Should clarify, I'm not cleaning out the entire hoard, but there is a lot in there, and that's the kind of situation that is gonna lure in moths and insects for laying their eggs in it, so I wanna, I wanna clear at least some of it out. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on the camera, but this is all the food that's in here. There's a lot of shavings in here as well but there is just so much food. There's loads of millet and there's loads of sunflower seeds and lentils, all sorts of things. It's a bit, bit crazy. Whoa, 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 that was close. That was very close. Yeah, go up on your shelf and try and figure your way down. Okay, right. I'm gonna start putting in the shredded paper. This is going to keep you nice and warm as well. I know it's getting a bit cold in here. It'll be nice and snuggly. John, you are not to come in here. I'm watching you. I'm so happy with how much time I've saved with shredding paper. This is my new favourite thing. The only problem is the coloured kitchen tissue does not come on a roll. It comes as little individual pieces, so um, I haven't gone around it totally, but at least I have an option. Right, I think that's everything covered. Let's start putting her supplies back in. One of the things I've bought for her is this cardboard gingerbread house. I got this in Jumbo, and it's supposed to be a gift box or a food box, and what I've done is just cut a little doorway where the door of the gingerbread house is supposed to be. And now she has a really cute hideaway, so I'm gonna fill this with a bit of bedding and pop that in her cage. This guy is so cute. He's like a little garden gnome, but he's actually a tea light holder, which means I can use him as a hideaway. This bowl I thought was really cute because of the pattern around it. Now, it's not supposed to be a wintry bowl, but those little blue dots all around the top kind of look like snowflakes. I also have a second one of these that Dan bought me on the same day because he thought the exact same thing, but he thought it'd be really nice for me to use in my winter food photography. This one, however, is going to be used as a sand bath. I won't put the sand in it right now though because this will be her first sand bath and I'd really love to film her using it for the first time. So I will do that either later on or tomorrow. I think that's everything I've got for now. Like I say though, there are a few things I want to make and at some point I will get around to filming the cage tour once it's complete. But for now, I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tomorrow we'll be off out to town to do a little bit more gift shopping. Me and Dan will be going out because uh, it's Dan's day off. And we should also be staying late to see the lights. So I'm hoping I'll get to show you guys that. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.